symbolism of the road not taken. The road not taken is one of Robert Frost's most famous poems. Frost, 1874-1963, was an American poet whose work was at odds with many of his modernist contemporaries, such as William Carlos Williams, Wallace Stevens, and T.S. Eliot. He disliked free verse, memorably characterizing it as playing tennis with the net down, and his work is more direct and often more romantic than much modernist writing. And The Road Not Taken, a poem rich in symbolism, is a good example of Frost's style and approach. However, the poem is far from simple. Indeed, it may well be the most misinterpreted poem in all of American literature. The poem appeared in his first collection, Mountain Interval, in 1916. Let's take a closer look at some of the key symbols in the poem so that we can understand its meaning more clearly. The Yellow Wood. The first symbol we encounter in The Road Not Taken is also the setting for the poem, the yellow wood through which the poem's speaker is traveling. On one level, the wood symbolizes autumn. The wood is yellow because the leaves, once green during spring and summer, have turned yellow as summer has given way to autumn. But autumn itself carries fairly heavy connotations of death, decay, aging, and a myriad other things. It's also true that the two roads the speaker has to choose between wouldn't have been concealed beneath the freshly fallen leaves if it wasn't autumn. Autumn is the time of year when there's an abundance of leaves fallen on the ground. Morning. Frost tells us that his encounter with the two roads took place that morning. It is so early that there are no signs that anyone has disturbed the yellow leaves so far that day. It is morning, the time when night has given way to day. So if not quite a poem about the transition point between two time periods. The Road Not Taken is certainly a poem about something that has recently passed, summer night, and given way to something new, autumn day. This is fitting, of course, for a poem all about the moment when Frost, or his speaker at least, is forced to make a decision about which way to take as he comes to a fork in the road. It is a time of new beginnings, of setting off, literally, on a new road. The Two Roads, the central story of The Road Not Taken, involves the speaker's choice between two possible roads he can take through the woods. Faced with this decision, he decides to take the one less traveled by. But this is a fiction, a lie he has told himself. He freely confesses that really, both paths were about the same in terms of how worn they were with previous travelers' footprints. And they were equally concealed beneath freshly fallen leaves. So these two roads don't, in fact, symbolize two very different paths open to us, one that is well-trodden and more popular, the other more neglected and less worn. The meaning of the poem is that it didn't really matter which of the two roads were taken, as they were both essentially the same, with nothing to distinguish between them. But Frost's poem is about the stories we tell ourselves, the fictions we create, to make our decisions appear to carry more meaning. So he decides to concoct the fiction that one was less traveled and to tell people that he took that one because it was less traveled by. But the roads are not just roads in a wood. On some level, they are symbols for life itself. After all, we talk about the journey of life. We talk about being on the right path or walking the road of life together and so on. We often conceptualize our lives as journeys where we are on different roads, or, if we're lucky, the same road, and moving towards a destination, making progress of some kind. Here, the speaker does keep talking, and so is going somewhere, but where he is going remains unknowable and unknown. The symbolism of the two roads, then, becomes obvious. 
Frost is pointing out that when we make one decision, we are often shutting down another option. We cannot take both roads. We cannot take both jobs. We cannot marry two people we're in love with, and so on and so on. The poem then is about the road not taken because it is partly a lament for these missed opportunities and these roads never traveled. We cannot say if they would have been better roads for us than the ones we did end up taking. But we are often haunted by the possibility, the what if, concerning where those other roads might have led.